Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X, looking at Chinese dramaland in the past week. We have two weeks to go before the end of 2023, isn't it exciting? I still remember the first week of January this year when I sat down and making uh, my weekly video for that week. I know I say it all the time on my channel, but really I feel time is speeding up like never before. Feelings aside, let's get down to our business. As usual, dramas that have gone live. According to schedule, we should have Shen Ying and Tuo Gui going live this week, and they both happened. I've taken a look at both dramas. They both are pretty close to what I estimated they would be. A very typical idol period fantasy drama that is actually quite poorly made and with very seemingly limited budget. The other one is a contemporary drama that, because of the adaptation process, changed things to a kind of gaming system again, something that I'm not a fan of. It's so normal that you have neither good things nor bad things to talk about it. Let's just wait for a couple of more days to see if the performance of these two dramas are going to change. While that was happening, this week a drama airdropped on Mango and you cool and it is one of those special dramas that are totally made not to make money and if a couple of years ago you've heard about the drama Xing Yan Dai, this is kind of the similar drama called Wen Cang Mang. English title is The Forerunner and it is a story focused on the 1920s at least at the starting point of Mao Zedong and the founders of the Chinese Communist Party and it's one of those super proper dramas really great lighting camera and old-fashioned way of telling a historical figure in the very biography type of drama and film way. The production standard of this drama is actually really, really high in comparison to everything that's airing right now. It's the highest. Every character shows up on screen is a famous actor, well known to all my audiences. So far, you've already seen Wang Renjun playing Mao Zedong and he was from Zhifo Zhifo. Most people know probably best of him from there. But you also have Ning Li playing Chen Duxiu, you have Bai Ke playing Jiang Jieshi, Zheng Yecheng playing Zhou Enlai, right? Everybody who shows up in this drama is a face you've seen and familiar with in Chinese drama currently. This type of story, unless you're really interested in the history of Chinese Communist Party's founding, I doubt it's gonna appeal to any international audiences. And it's totally the type of project that's made to show that, you know, this is actually the standard of production of China. Dramas. When we want to do it and then we don't give a shit to profit, this is what we can do. <laughs> so, from a technical aspect, to look at this drama is quite interesting. And another funny thing is because it's talking about the big caliber people in Chinese modern history, therefore, hardly any live comments. I think this drama closes down live comments function. So, 99% of the time, there's no live comments on this drama <laughs> on platforms. I just want to mention that this project exists, and if people are curious, you can definitely take a look at it. In a way, it's funny because it's made totally not for entertainment, but it kind of gets the best of best of every department possible in the drama making industry. Then let's slip back <laughs> to the entertainment land. We have Da Feng Da Gen Ren, the Guardians of Da Feng, releasing its first proper trailer during this week, led by Wang He Di Tian Xi Wei, based on a very popular male-oriented web novel IP. They've just wrapped the drama literally this week, and they released a rap video that really looks like a trailer. Just within this video, it looks like a really, comparatively speaking, high budget period drama production. Also, actors are using their own voices in this drama, at least in this trailer. Whether the final product is gonna get dubbed over, we don't know yet. We hear Wang He Di using his own voice. His Mandarin is still very, very problematic, but at least within the trailer, it's better than the other things he's done before. I'm not sure about the entirety of the project, whether it is like that, but at least in the trailer, it is very comedy heavy. Just in this first trailer, okay, later we shall see how this is going to turn out, and you're not going to get to see the whole drama until 2024 for sure. We also have another period drama that has wrapped during this week, the we've wrapped announcement posters of all the main roles in the drama, and that is Yang Yang and Jin Chen led Fan Ren Xiu Xian Zhuan, The Immortal Ascension. At least that's the current name. I think it has a different name before, but does not matter. By the time the drama actually comes out next year, it may have a different name by then. So this week we've had two rather high profile pair dramas based on big IP rapping at the same time. Personally, I'm definitely more interested in Da Feng Da Ge story just because it is not a fantasy drama that 
I am <laughs> so tired of these days. Also during this week, we've had another period drama started shooting. And once it finishes shooting, it will air on the platform Youku. It is the drama Xian Yu, another one based on an existing web novel. Whew, yeah, that's just the situation of drama land. And it's led by Chen Fei Yu and Wang Ying. Lu. Wang Yinglu is the lead actress of Yi Ren Zhi Xia, and I really liked her performance in that drama, so I definitely look forward to her future works. As for Chen Fei, good luck to him. What else can I say? He hasn't had the best year of 2023, and who knows if immortality is ever gonna show up. Among the list of dead BL dramas waiting to air, and then we have a lot of dramas during this week that have gotten their license to air, or pretty much one step before that. So go through censorship, all good just waiting for the paper thing to come through and say okay you can air now in no particular order let's go through these projects first the tencent contemporary romantic drama Chun Se Ji Qing Ren, there's a lover in my hometown that's led by Li Xian and Zhou Yutong. That one has gotten its license. Next, also on Tencent, and likely to air first quarter next year, is the big all girls and all women <laughs> drama called Her Islands, if you still remember. Ta he ta de Qun Dao. It features multiple pairs of older and younger ladies, and it's all just like full on ladies drama, led by Xu Fan, Ma Sichun, Li Xiaoran, Sun Qian, and many, many, many other very well known different age range actresses. If it airs quarter one of 2024, that would be interesting because within the uh, Chinese fortune telling world, 2024 is the first year of the next 20 years that is gonna be represented by mid range age women. Okay, interesting. So, if this drama actually shows up right at the beginning of the year, it kind of is super as above, so below. We also have the contemporary drama set in Shanghai, led by Chen Xiao and Tong Yao, playing this young couple who come from different places and try to settle in Shanghai. That contemporary life and work drama, if you still remember, that one has also gotten its license. So again, can air anytime. Moving on, there's another one that I don't even realize it exists, but um, it's also from Tencent, and supposedly it's gonna be a very short drama, around 12 to 18 episodes. The drama is called Li, being literally means hunting ice. It's an anti-drug drama, popular thing in Chinese drama land. And this one has also gotten its license. Interesting thing about it is it's led by Zhang Songwen and Yao Anna. That's a really odd pairing. When this drama airs, I will definitely check it out. Just out of curiosity to see how that works out with the casting. And also, let's just guess, right, at this point, since it's Yao Anna led, whether every cell phone that shows up in the drama will be Huawei. <laughs> that will be interesting to see if that actually happens. Then the last one that hasn't gotten its license, but it's already passed censorship, so it could show up anytime too. 40 episode period drama, and again based on IP, Jin Xiu, An Ning, The Rise of Ning, led by Zhang Wanyi and Ren Ming. I remember earlier this year when they were filming this drama, there were a lot of uh, leaked photos on set about Ren Ming's styling of a Song Dynasty lady look that actually looks pretty good, which suits her very well, much better than what she looks like in fantasy period idol drama, Yu Gu Yao. Her styling gets criticized a lot in that drama. So let's hope for this one, at least she's gonna look great. For this drama, it is pretty much done by the same crew and team that has produced one and only. Specific dramas news aside, the last piece is a very sad news of the passing of the actress Zhou Haimei during this week. Her medical record got somehow leaked, which is very unfortunate. A day before it happened, she got into the hospital and it already was completely on China's internet. All the types of rumors about this and that. And one day after that, the confirmed news came out that she passed away. She is my definitive version of Zhou Zhizhuo of Drama Land from Jin Yong's novel. Even though Zhou Zhiruo has been played by many very pretty and very good actresses, such as She Shiman, such as Gao Yuanyuan, but they all came later. The earliest memory I have for Zhou Zhiruo is Zhou Haimei's version. She's still my default version in my mind's eye when I think about Zhou Zhiruo. She's only 57, which is really young for current humans, you know, with living in. 21st century with the kind of medical care and healthcare we have. And she suffers from lupus, which is very unfortunate. And a lot of pretty women 
like somehow have it if from my mother's observation as a doctor and when she passed away my mother sent me this message and she says i know so many patients and even my colleagues who've gotten lupus and they all tend to be very pretty women and there are plenty of very famous people in this world who's gotten that it's just really sad to see this happening also just recently jupiter's movement is quite uh, affecting a lot of people who have prominent Sagittarius in your chart. So if it's your sun, your ascendant, you already have like very prominent Sag presence, just uh, take care of your health. And that should be pretty much the end of this video. This week we've had actually all platforms, video platforms, drama platforms, even CCTV, China Central Television, releasing their looking forward to 2024 drama list of what they have bought, they have in stock, they're planning to put out. Very, very sketchy roughly about quarter one quarter two throughout the year when we may release the drama and because all of that is unconfirmed it's just like them saying we intend to put that out and you know just to get your appetite wet and get advertisers interested so I'm not gonna go through all of them as we move towards next year we're gonna hear more and more confirmed news of at least quarter one and when that happens we'll talk about that specifically I hope you all are having a great end of the year doing your last minute Christmas shopping hopefully for a better 2024 for mankind. <laughs> Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama.